Rodney McMillan's work limbs absence as an unmitigated presence. His take on absence is more sensuous and cerebral. He doesn't deconstruct the idea of absence and then rebuild it as a dialectical opposition, positing that the show does not seem to say on experience is as significant. Rather, it describes a rush to fill a void is. of the real person. He waxes nostalgic. For whatever reason, the viewer doesn't have before the them the flesh and blood in Michael Jackson, chum, the now gone parent, Dan, friend, lover whose body form the concavities of the chair. The subject of both McMillan's show Instead of the respective platonic ideals or singular simulacrums of these people, we have their residency to venerate the void itself as something sacred and presents sensuous absences and audience to Just as nature abhors a vacuum, so do we do not exist. DVD mementos, a panning lingering camera traces, if not autographs, reactions then the memories audience, stored in our heart and keepsakes icons, stored in our attic, Michael Jackson's the people we have known or else special. admired from afar. As befits an it's icon, human nature to revere, to gape, and all, discreetly or not, a point that Rodney rupture. McMillan makes subtly and not without wry humor. His role is to remind us of our fascination with the aura of remnants, auras harbor and replenish our hopes and fantasies, nourish our memories, allowing us to say without remorse, that as long as we have proximity to something of substance and someone, then through a process of transubstantiation, we've got plenty of nothing, and that nothing is plenty for us.